Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unity Open World series. So in this episode, I am going to improve this world system. Now as you can see here, so last time uh, I had some problem where my the first leg go through the wall. So it does not match the animation the moment. So I am going to fix that problem here. Now as you can see, the character is properly going to the jump in without an issue and that's what I am going to do today so this system is still not perfect uh, but let's continue to work on it until it is complete all right and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right and uh, now we have a small problem here with my character go near near the wall uh, the legs are like this so let's see how to fix that problem so actually that happens because of this collide actually this is a trigger but still uh, the ray cast uh, that I used for the IK system and hit this collider so maybe i should assign this layer into ignore raycast oh wait yeah let's set it set both of these colliders to ignore raycast and then uh, we need to app apply the changes to the prefab so to do that um, yeah it was earlier before there is a apply button uh, right now I think I have to change that here and go back to C right now all other objects has the ignore ray cast layer assigned to the colliders now let's see what happens when played okay it is working fine and here we have a slight problem because even though the character jumps character hand position is fine the legs kind of go through the wall so we need to fix that Alright, so how to fix that? Well, first to fix that we need to slow down time and then we need to see what's going on. So let's open our script again and yeah, let's enable this time slowing down part. Let's observe what's happening here. Um, let's uh, 
put it in both views like this so we can have a better idea what's going on Let's check that again. Okay. Right. Now I think this leg is going through. Let me try again. Yeah, that's the problem. The first leg. See? This leg is going through the wall. Okay, so in order to fix that what should I do? Should I pull back the jump position? Or should I? Okay, let's try this. Uh, let's force the game and move the character where it should be to properly align okay now at this point the character should be wait Yeah, I think yeah so does that happen when I start jumping earlier yeah it does okay then can we avoid this problem if I rotate the jump position let's see so this happens when the character is here and if I rotate the character well not that way this way what would happen well only one way to find out let's rotate the jump position like this this way
now still it goes through okay then let's try this I'll enlarge this collider like this and then still now okay then let's let me disable the rotation and let's pull back this and see what happens then the hand position is wrong all right let's do the world in in two positions I reset the change I did for the jump position here and then uh, let's go to the script and here let's add a new part like this Point four F and transform move the volt position. So actually, we need a point uh, away from the wall. That means before the wall from the jumping point. So how do we get that? Okay, uh, let's try this. minus vector 3 no t land point mm. Ah, okay. The land point. Oh, by mistake, I have set this jump position also to zero zero instead. Yeah, it should be here in minus three point seven five. Let's fix it. Ah, yeah. Okay, then we need to reset this to the original prefab. But how to do that? Okay, let's manually set it. So I did a little bit of a research and I used this uh, vector D which defines the distance from the jump position to the, the, to the landing position. So, but instead, I think uh, I should go for a different approach. So here, what I did was this. Uh, first, I moved the character 
to some distance away from the wall and then directly from that point I moved the character to the landing point with 1f timing so if I disable the time scale this is the way it looks now see now it doesn't go through the it doesn't go through the wall now like that but the problem is initially the character has to move back a little otherwise the animation doesn't match so that's a problem but I could get rid of going the first leg through the wall problem so if I if you wash it from this side you can see the character moves back a little before starting the jump like that so maybe to prevent that I'm not sure what to do. Uh, maybe we can reduce this animation time. Start from here instead of this part. So if I do that, maybe I would be able to get rid of that problem. Mm, okay. Well, I'll revert that part. I don't think I can get it working like that okay I'll leave it like that for now and yeah I'll stop this episode at this point so if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below and also I will be sharing the source code of this project through the patron page and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye